Hey guys, this video that popped up on Worldstar that was uh, pretty disgusting to me and even the title didn't make sense. It said, uh, neighbor shoots neighbor's dog for fun, which is totally not the case. No one's sh shooting dogs for fun. It wasn't a chihuahua or a poodle that was shot. It was a, a pit bull. So we're going to look at the video now. And that's one of, uh, if I could take a step back, it's one of the reasons why I don't like Worldstar too much. And I'm going to start, um, you know, visiting their competitors' world, uh, website and promoting their competitor. Because it's almost like as if Worldstar is being paid um, or is being asked by someone to, like, create a narrative. Because, but I'm going to let you see the video and you can decide for yourself. You own a pellet gun? You shoot my dog? Because he's fucking dead, asshole. What? You shot my fucking dog? So right here, real quick, if you are responsible for a dog, there should be no way someone can harm or do something to your dog without you being there and knowing. So this implies that he was not um, in eyesight or in um, caring for his his dog. Like if I, if I was taking care of a baby, you wouldn't see a video of me knocking on my neighbor's door saying, did you kidnap my baby? No. What about you? What about you? Because that would imply that there was a moment where I wasn't there with my baby and I left them unattended. So this shows that this guy is not a good dog owner. If he has a dog, especially if the dog's not on the leash and it's a pit bull, you're going to find out later that the dog is not in his view and he has no clue where the dog is. And then later he's playing detective. So that right there is a proclivity that uh, key number one, that you are not a good dog owner. You shot my fucking dog. What was your dog doing in my yard? Our yard's right. Like and another thing too, all, all these dog lover, pit bull lovers, they love to say my dog, my dog, my dog. I think there's a clear distinction, and this is what my channel is going to be about. Pit bulls are not pets. Pit bulls are not the same as every other dog. Okay. When you say dog, people think, oh, he shot a chihuahua or a, a, a poodle. No, this is a pit bull, a, a dog that is made to take down uh animals people things 10 times the size and it's like the most malicious non-stop until the enemy or the op as the young kids say it, is terminated so notice how this guy keeps saying my dog my dog as if you're the neighbor you're like oh my gosh why would someone um, harm his chihuahua and then you find out later it's not just a dog it's a pit bull and probably a vicious pit bull like that but let's continue watching. Fucking there. We're back there doing yard work. We're fucking trimming trees. He wandered over here and you shoot him? You fucking... He wandered over here and you shoot him is what he said. So a question for you. What if uh, there was a two-year-old or an infant in, his, in this gentleman's backyard? What do you think the dog would would, would do? What, what, what do you think the scenario would be? A, the dog would playfully play with the two-year-old. That's unattended as well. Or two, B, uh, the dog would maul the two-year-old. Or th uh, C, uh, even worse than B. I would say either B or C. Because uh, uh, people wandering behind your backyard. No, this is a recipe for disaster if the right person is not back there. Okay, you have a kid under the age of, I don't know, 10. Uh, uh, people can take down a, 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 a adult. So I can imagine a kid wouldn't stand much of a chance. You killed him with a pellet gun? In a goddamn neighborhood? Are you a fucking cop? Who was apartment? You in, a, in a G dang neighborhood is what he said. As if it's acceptable anywhere else. Where is it acceptable to uh, kill a, f a ferocious pit bull like your pit bull? Is it okay for me to do it in a library, in the city streets? Nowhere is it's acceptable, but it, you shouldn't have your dog in a um, unattended way to where it's causing or threatening the the well-being of other people. But the, these uh, these people just make up anything and and hope that you you know side with them and you're like oh he must be saying something correct because he's he's talking um, continuously and the other guys not saying anything. So let me agree with the guy who's babbling his mouth. He works for. Motherfucker. I am not in a goddamn mood. How about if I shoot your dumb ass? What does who he worked for has to do with this bad, bad dog owner not paying attention to where his dog is and being um, 
shot by this guy who you're going to find out later if it hasn't been said that the dog was on his property. He shot my fucking dog. Are you okay with that? Get off the fucking property. He shot my fucking dog. What's your name? What's your name? Asshole. Asshole, 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 asshole. So, and this is another proclivity of how this gentleman who's recording his personality, the fact that he's putting in the word a-hole, 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 shows that he's so mixed in his emotions, he can't rationalize or be, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Like, he can't be neutral and say, you know what, I'm going to come at this from an unbiased stance, and I'm going to just say what's right, what's is right, what's wrong is wrong, and just bleep his name out. He's like, no, I have to sway the idiot public that this guy's a bad guy, so I'm going to put in the word a-hole, a-hole, a-hole. And then some, some, some viewer who can't think for themselves is going to see this and be like, yeah, this guy must be a-hole. I just heard this guy edited a, a soundbite saying a-hole, a-hole. Good. But please, people, think for yourselves. You'll hear from me. Okay, I'm, I'm proud. You're proud of shooting my dog, right? Asshole. Let me tell you something. No, you did say it. You're proud of it. What do you got, a pit bull? No, it's not a fucking pit bull. What kind of fucking it's dog a goddamn is it? Why is it? Why isn't your fucking dog chained up, buddy? Exactly. Why isn't your dog chained up? Let's listen to his response. And you probably just heard, oh, it's not a pit bull. These dogs are, um, how should I say this? Have malevolent, uh, like, furious looks to them so it, a lot of these people they're mixed pit bull with a different type of breed but with that they can say okay it's not a pit bull because it's not 100 percent of pit bull okay i guess you can say that but even if it's 10 percent pit bull they're not going to say pit bull but what i'm trying to say is if it's a big enough dog that poses a threat it should be on a leash if it's not on a leash and it's wandering in my backyard and I don't know this dog from a can of paint. I'm not going to assume he's friendly. If he looks like he can take me down, I am going to, especially if I'm back there and I have nowhere to run, I'm going to defend myself as well to prevent me from having bodily harm for something I didn't entice or uh, called upon me or did anything to influence this. Because you could just stand there and a dog is going to come up to you. It's not like as if you have to call a dog over. And if you run, their instincts are going to kick in and chase you. So, and of course, they always say, well, did you do anything to um, entice the dog to, chase, to do anything to you? It's like, there's nothing I can do to make this dog not come up to me. If I run, he's going to chase me. If I stand still, he's going to be curious and come up to me. If I yell at him and say, go that way, he's going to come towards me. So the courts, they play this game where they, I, I, I don't know who to blame, but they play this game where it's like, you know, lose lose situation. <laughs> Excuse me. To where um, people have to start using logic and speaking up. I guarantee, and I'll just say this, and I end it like this: If I had a dog, you would never have the opportunity of shooting my dog without me being present. That's how good of a dog owner I would be. Okay. If he is unchained, he would be in an enclosed fence, out of harm's way of little kids. There's too many kids are getting mauled by stupid uh sorry dog owners like this guy who get lucky enough to where there's no kid around but you have an adult around and then he does what he should do and then now this dog owner feels like he has a reason to be upset but let a kid have gotten hurt what would this dog owner have said oh i'm sorry and give me the the hospital bill i pay for it well no you just changed someone's life their face is ripped off or they have mental uh scarring to where you can't just pay a hospital bill and it's okay they should be held as, uh, I don't know, second degree or whatever to the highest extent, in my opinion. But I know I'm rambling a lot because I'm going to do a lot more videos of this. And I, hopefully I can slowly change the mindset in our society one by one on what's going on with these uh, pit bulls or these ferocious dogs. Because um, rock wilders, pit bulls, these dogs are not just like pets. Like when I was younger, I had a pet. It was a, a hamster. Like, those are pets to me. Like, these dogs are made, they want to, they love their owner so much, they want to protect you. They want to feel valued. And if you don't have an enclosed fence to where they can feel like, okay, this is our, my territory. This is where I prove to my master that, you know, I'm, I appreciate him. If you just have him out roaming, he's going to attack anyone that he feels is a threat to you. So, but I, I'll continue the video. We only have a couple more seconds left. I don't fucking shit up a dog when I'm standing right there in my own goddamn yard. Okay, well, yard. keep your fucking dog in your well, own Well, he's dead now, asshole. 
yeah, keep your dog in your own yard. And then this guy yells, well, he's like as if it's not known, like as if, well, it, he wouldn't have been dead if you had chained him up, sir. Do you want to speak on that? Like he's, these pe dog owners, they talk so, and this is why every, every judge would say, you know, it's in your best bet you have a lawyer speak to you. I'm convinced 95% of society are not, um, capable of speaking for themselves because they're not talking uh, intellectually they're not talking logically and they're not using reason they're just trying to say whatever sounds good to you so you can feel wrong but when you sit down and analyze what they just said you'd be like wait a minute that doesn't make any sense at all but it's too late he already went in his house and he slammed the door but because he kept babbling and talking and, and saying stuff like and yelling like he's already dead as if, oh, okay, maybe I did something wrong when really you did nothing wrong. To me, this gentleman did nothing wrong. If the dog was on his property and uh, was menacing him and coming towards him, and this guy sees that there's no leash on his dog and doesn't know this dog, then I see. I, I think he's in his uh, right to defend himself. But what if, it, like I said, what if a kid was there or what if this guy is disabled and he can't, or he's supposed to just roll the dice and, and pray that this dog doesn't do what I don't know dogs are meant to do when the word domestic when we domesticate animals we're changing their natural instinct but i'll i'll, I'll say that for another video You're gonna leave what do you want me to do I want, what do you want me to do what are you gonna get me fucking fired yeah i'm gonna get you fucking fired for i want you to fucking apologize you fucking shot my fucking dog apologize for what oh you shot he shot his dog okay yeah the same dog that wandered onto his property and owner was nowhere to be found. It's probably a big, ferocious, menacing dog. Yeah, the same dog. He's dead. He was dead in two goddamn minutes with a pellet gun in a fucking residential area. And that's even worse, residential area. You know how many kids are playing? There's a basketball hoop. In fact, two. Look at the back. In the back view, there's two basketball hoops right there. Kids, kids. You fucking asshole! You fucked with the wrong marine. This guy is psychotic. Call Ross. He'll call you tomorrow. You know him. This guy threatened to get this other guy fired. And he's threatening to, sh to shoot this guy. I don't know if you caught that. He tried to get this guy fired. He's trying to get this guy fired. And he's threatening to shoot him. All because his dog wandered on this other guy's property. And this guy's property... It, it, I, I'm kind of convinced that these dog owners, well, pit bull owners, sorry, not dog owners, pit bull owners, are somewhat racist. Because if, if you let um, any minority step on this guy's property and get shot like that, who, you know, is uninvited, had no business being on his property, this same guy would say, yeah, you know, well, what was that black guy doing there on his property, I guess? Ha, 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 ha. But this, because it's a dog, apparently this dog has more rights than... Uh, black people human beings and this is very sad to hear and it's kind of upsetting to where it's it should grow anger in you if you are a minority black hispanic or whatever the fact that uh hispanic or black can jump walk on this guy property get shot and this guy would corroborate a case saying well he shouldn't have been on his property but because his dog who doesn't contribute to anything to society you you're working your nine to five you send money to charity or whatever you, you do boys and girls club and stuff like that Apparently, this dog has more rights than you. So just think about that for a second. He's so upset that this guy's dog wandered onto his property. But let it be you. He he, he wouldn't be defending you as much as he's defending your, his dog. Just think about that for a second. And I'm going to end the video on that. And there's going to be more videos to come because we have to slowly change the mindset of um, how society you pit bulls not dogs pit bulls and when i say pit bulls i also mean rock rylers and all these other big dogs that are ferocious that are made to uh, attack and defend these dogs are not just gonna give you uh you know a little pity pat these dogs are gonna take you down if you're not in the um right physical shape or in the right um scenario where you can defend yourself with like a broom or something if you're out in the open Nine, nine out of ten people are not going to be able to outrun a dog, a pit bull. Sorry, I keep saying dog, pit bull, or, or, or fend off a pit bull. It's, it's going to be very hard. But 
Uh, that's the video for today. We're going to have more videos coming out. Uh, please stay tuned. Thank you. Bye.